Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy Slim here coming at you with a CODs Basics video. Uh, the reason why I'm calling CODs Basics video is because I feel like it's basic things that uh, people need to do to get better at the game. Whether it's you're new to the game or uh, you just find that it's, CODs just not working for you, you've just been playing it for a while and you just haven't been getting better or where you feel like you need to be. It's just basic stuff, man. Uh, so, things that I feel like you guys need to you know, key in on is like uh, the small things like your uh, settings your settings uh have your have your settings critique to your personal use um uh equipment certain equipment that you could invest in to uh get you a little better at the game uh you know uh using like higher tier weapons paying attention to uh you know how to you know make a loadout uh better and things like that um just and just practicing honestly yeah just practicing uh i feel like a lot of people just log on to the game and they just feel like if they just keep playing non-stop or just keep going through the same thing they just no you're just not going to get better that way uh a lot of people um they actually took time out to actually practice as pro players trust me they'll tell you now those are the things that you don't want to you know just step over and you know walk past without you know saying okay let me do this first then i'm going to get into the game so um honestly man practice makes perfect just like in anything else yes it does matter in the game too so um, without further ado, man, let's get into the video. Uh, if you guys feel like I missed anything, have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like the page and subscribe Subscribe the channel if you're new, man. Thanks, appreciate it. The first thing that we're gonna wanna hop into is, oh yeah, I'm in Warzone, no, co-op actually. First thing you wanna uh, go through is see your settings. Uh, settings is all preference. Um, there isn't one setting that's just like this one is better than this one. This one's better. It all it's all based on what suits you and what you're comfortable with. Um, I do think there are some settings that are more important than some. For example, you have your button layout. You know, some people play bumper jumper, default, uh, etc. You know, just make sure whatever button layout you're comfortable with, you select that. Yeah. So uh, dead zone. Um, it basically ugh, look. It basically controls uh, how much your stick uh, moves when you initially touch it. So if you uh, like just tap it, it may not move right away. The higher dead zone. Um, let's see, what we have here. Uh, you have uh, sensitivity, which is probably the most important um, uh, setting uh, based on your comfort. This is based basically how fast your um, your crosshairs move uh, when you move your uh, your analog sticks um some people play actually not even some people everybody plays on different sensitivity it ranges from 1 to 20 uh 20 being the fastest i play on 10 10 just that's what i'm comfortable with i've always played on 10 10 since modern warfare 2. um this is this ads sensitivity is uh basically um when you use different cross i mean different uh recticles like you have red dot that's considered like low zoom i think a 2x considered low zoom and everything above that is considered high zoom so when you zoom in how fast the sensitivity is of those uh scopes uh aim response curve um like i said it's all preference you have standard linear dynamic uh play around with each one of you know figure out what you're comfortable with i use linear because you know that's the one i'm comfortable with it's not better than standard it ain't better than dynamic it's whatever you're comfortable with um <coughs> sorry uh aim assist got standard uh oh that's just for me you could go through uh, precision or focusing uh whichever one you're um comfortable with uh what i can say is uh contextual tap it benefits you a lot more in warzone because you can loot faster instead of having to hold down each um uh, if you hold down the button for each item to uh, pick it up. Uh, slide behavior, I use hold, whatever you're, you're comfortable with. You can use tap, up to you guys. Uh, automatic tactical sprint, like uh, I use um, automatic tactical because it's, it works better for me. Like I don't like having to uh, press my button down. It puts less abuse on my uh, my left analog stick. So you know, always having to press it down. And everything else like color and uh, you know vol different volumes that's all based on you know what you're comfortable with 
as far as like for equipment i do recommend getting a scuff controller um i have the scuff vantage too uh you know i just always like the uh the controller uh, s uh for xbox and it's kind of shaped like that so i i do recommend getting a scuff controller or um, an aim controller battle beaver anything with like uh you know buttons in the back that will prevent you from having to move your thumbs as much um as far as like your headset, I do recommend getting a, a quality headset so you could you know listen to uh, footsteps better. Um, those are two intricate parts of the game: movement and you know uh, the uh, sounds and the audio. Okay, so let's get into the practice mode. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna set up a, a bot lobby. Um, always put on free for all. Uh, I, I do shoot house because it's a medium to close range map. You know, spawns frequent. Five seconds. Score limit unlimited. I say do it for about ten minutes. For those guys, I feel like they're not comfortable with um, their aim. I recommend they do it at least you know once a day before uh, not even once a day once before you get online just you know get in practice warm up you know hover there normal tactical sprint uh, and always put your max the max health up you know above normal I, I recommend 250 to 300 either one uh players only kill cam uh radar don't put the radar always on because in game it's not always on so you could just have a surprise element uh, you could work on your snapping on the targets when you get surprised by you know whoever somebody shooting at you uh, force respawn suicide spawn uh i see wait where's kill streaks did i miss that i come with disable uh. Headshots on allow field upgrade. Oh, kill streak. Turn off kill streaks. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Free for all bot setup. Max amount of bots eleven. Uh, put them on veteran hardest, which is the uh, hardest difficulty. Loadout. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna use this loadout. It's pretty standard loadout. Uh, I do recommend using. You know. Uh, the higher tier weapons, whether it's an M4, Kilo, uh, M13, uh, if it's an LMG, a PKM, uh, whatever SMG, MP5, MP7, um, or whatever gun that you're, you know, you want to get better with, or you constantly use, and you feel like you're comfortable with that gun, use that gun. Uh, so what we're gonna focus in in, um, in this practice mode is just basically. Uh, map placement, map rotation, and uh, movement, and just aiming, snapping on the targets, things of that nature. Do this on a daily basis. Trust me, you guys will get uh, better at the game, man. Trust me. All right, so what I recommend when you move around any map, you stay towards the edges of the map. And you always want to keep moving. Anytime you're in any gunfight, you either want to make it a jump shot, drop shot, wherever the case is. You always want to practice shooting on the move. Because anybody can just sit here and just do this. That that doesn't take any skill. Because realistically... Realistically, you keep moving, you're a harder target to hit. Makes your aim better. And when you stay at the edges of the map, it takes away an element that, you know, you can't be surprised from behind you. It cuts off one part. One, pa one part of the map that you can get attacked from. You always want to keep the fight in front of you. Spawn literally right in front of this bot.
see, the reason why I say put the health up, this is not for like kills, it's just getting your aim to where it has to be. You want to always try to stay on target. Yeah, the point isn't to kill them, it's just to keep your aim on target for as long as possible. Uh, you just want to practice consistently aiming at a target and, you know, have your crosshairs follow that target. I just want to practice moving around the map. So, you guys kind of get the gist of it, man. Just always keep moving slide canceling is a good oh this man just throwing knife man Enter the map, fights in front of you, enter the map, keep moving. Fight still in front of me. Keep moving. Alright, so you guys kind of get the gist of it. Yeah, I know my um my buttons were like really loud. Uh, and some people are probably like, oh my god, he's destroying his controller. Or why does he have his audio like this? Uh, I did that on purpose. Um, I just want you guys to hear like uh, what your controller would sound like if you had like a scuff or uh, aim controller. It sounds like I'm doing a whole lot. I'm really not. My, I'm just literally clicking buttons. My hands aren't moving a lot because I have my uh my paddles in the back and just literally clicking buttons non-stop and uh it's something you could do if you invest into a, a really good uh controller all right so you know after going over that i think we covered some good points here you know pr doing this on a daily basis is just going to help you you know learn how to move around the map better learn how to snap on targets more be more prepared for any gunfight just get you overall just more comfortable playing the game at a little faster pace um, I always said that they have like three tiers of players in Call of Duty uh, they have the really good players uh, the mediocre players and the bad players and there's not a lot of players that fall in, in between it's either bad or good so <laughs> I think this will help you uh, you know just up your game and um, just make sure like I said uh, have your settings on point uh, if you feel like you need a controller or a better headset, you invest into that. Um, try to practice this mode every day. Stay on the outskirts of the map. You know, always try to keep moving. Um, make sure you use a, a, a good tear weapon. And um, yeah. So um, if you guys like the video, man, just make sure you drop a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. Uh, if you feel like if I missed anything, uh, just throw it in the comments, man. I'm always free for opinions, man. Uh, if you're trying to catch me live, uh, I stream live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, mainly on Facebook, but I do know some people don't have that social platform, so I try to keep everybody in tune, so I do stream on every platform for now. Um, Alright, thanks man, I hope you enjoy the video. Heavy rolling, mobbing everywhere, yeah, we be cooling, ain't no problem.